and kind of describe that and then con contrast that to what they're doing well, that, today. That's what real science teaching is about, what real scientists need to be about. And actually, to be fair, this article does mention this. It's just that they then, they then get it wrong in the application <laughs> of it. But science is all about a number of things, really five stages we can boil it down to. One is the development of a hypothesis. And then following the head development of a hypothesis, once you've developed a hypothesis about something, you need to be able to design a test for that hypothesis, a fair test, so you'll be able to say whether it's true or it's not true. Then you need to learn about experimental technique so you can actually carry out that test and do it carefully and properly so that you know your results are reliable. Then you need to be able to collate those results to be able to make sure that you understand what they all are. And finally, you're going to draw some conclusions from those results. You need to be able to draw sensible conclusions that are not making some sort of leap in the dark and adding uh, stuff that wasn't meant to be there in the first place. And what you'll notice in all those things that we've said, all those particular comments, we are not talking about the so-called giving over of loads of facts. Now, what the, the, this article is talking about is saying that they want lots and lots of evolutionary facts to be taught. And when I'm using the word facts, try and imagine quote marks around it, because, of <laughs> course, we don't accept that they're facts. But they're talking about the, the giving out of loads and loads and loads of information. That does not make someone a scientist. It's how they actually uh, use a process to produce in information to produce information to actually produce these hypotheses and test them that is what science is about good science education needs to be tackling that you know for somebody who's a creationist and doesn't understand science i'd say you knew that pretty well <laughs>